crazy looking building. It's like they had that part from another building and then they just added it on. But it's actually really big inside and it comes with one balcony you can kind of get yourself out on and that one over there. What the? Oh, okay there. I thought it was locked or something. I'm as smart as I need to be to do real estate. Flatbush, cool part of town, lots of local businesses, and there's some cheap apartments over here. This is gonna also save you some money. 99 cent store, all that cheap stuff like dish soap that you need for your apartment, and school supplies, which you can pass off as office supplies for your business. It's in there. Then we got phone repair and fake donuts. No, I am not pumped for pumpkin. And I'm not sure their coffee's real either. Then over here we got Burger King's North American headquarters. Look at the size of that building. How many Whoppers did they have to sell to be able to pay that rent? And how many were impossible Whoppers? Subway transit here, it's decent. These will get you into Manhattan pretty quick. They're both express once they get there too. And there's a handicapped elevator. Look at how much there is going on on this street corner by the train. I just saw somebody run the intersection with Jersey plates and the person standing next to me said they were probably here to buy food. This little diner's been in the neighborhood forever. Yeah. They have a massive menu. Been okay for 40 years. 40 years. Yeah. Next to that, we got hardware. I guess you can't eat there. Then we got a photo place. But across the street, there's a couple Caribbean places and a fish place. You'll want to visit the fish place. But there's something fishy about this pizza place. Real Detroit style pizza from a pizza hut. It's probably way better than Domino's. And look, around the corner, it's just more of the same restaurants and shops. You know it's real jerk when they got the smoker, which looks like it's been well used right in front. You know what's making these guys famous? What? It's the organic, man. They got some people that think it's better for you. Yeah, organic. You know what my definition of organic is? What? If it was alive at one point, it's probably organic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, this corner is gonna be deadly. You got local coffee and you got a local bakery. Authentic, delicious, immaculate bakery. So you don't have to go far for breakfast. Then we got the plant-based juice bar, the barbershop, and then there's another juice bar. I had a wheatgrass shot once, it did weird things to me. I was really energized for like five minutes and then I was tired for like three hours. like this alleyway is now bike parking. And isn't that cool? It's the alley between our spaceship looking building and the other building. This would have been wasted space otherwise. Thanks, man. You got a great looking dog. He's all right. He's all right. He's very full of morning energy. He looks like he say. thinks he's the man. Anyways, if you want to live here, check out the video description. So it seems like, just like the outside of the building, they're trying to do a little more with, that's the case down here. You've got like a little co-working space kind of built in. And this is actually shared with the laundry, which is over here. Not a lot of machines, but it's not a very big building. Maybe this will be enough. And look, there's another hookup. They could add more. Decent roof deck. What's odd though, is that on the other side of this fence is someone's apartment, you can see the door, which means their private roof deck is surrounded, surrounded by the communal roof deck. Kind of see through the crack. It doesn't really look like they're using it. Anyways, over there's lower Manhattan. You can see the rest of Brooklyn over here. And we're definitely in one of the tallest buildings in the neighborhood. Not a lot 
lot of room, but hey, it's a balcony. Overlooking the alleyway. Wait, and there's a second balcony? What the? Oh, okay there. I thought it was locked or something. I'm as smart as I need to be to do real estate. This is a $2,900 three bedroom, two bath. That right there is the front door. And after you walk in, you've got this living room, which is 20 feet long, 12 feet wide. Most affordable apartments have zero common space. By the junk dishwasher, you could have a couch in that corner, mount a TV here. And then across from this, boom, big table. That gives you a spot to sit and eat and a spot to watch movies. Which isn't your iPad. Now, as far as storage, maybe you could put some hooks on the back of the door. There is this little closet right here. Let's take a look. Oh wow, the floor is, uh, I wouldn't touch that until they clean it. Someone just moved out of this place. I think it's gonna rent even with that dishwasher still there because right now it's four grand for a studio and this has three bedrooms. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. When they put the fridge in, they put the door in wrong. Man, that's a shame, it's a beautiful fridge. If you rent this place, just move this bracket over to here and you're good to go. The other appliances are nice too. Look, we got a massive looking stove, decent vent, full size dishwasher as well. Um, I guess this dishwasher is gonna be replaced or is replacing. Man, look at how gross this was. There were some nasty people living here. There's even a little sprayer for the sink, which itself is pretty good. And this counter is surprisingly usable. Look, we got some outlets right here. You could throw a couple stools under this for quick meals. And who doesn't love all the lighting in here? I think lighting is one of the things this apartment's doing really, really well. If you get this bedroom, you should do that. Because look, now you've created a right angle. A bed could go there or over here. But look, that closes really nicely and it comes with a set of curtains so you can block it out. But anyways, the room is 12 by eight and a half. That's kind of cool how it just like moves up and down. Views cool. I don't know um, if you're gonna share this with anybody, so perhaps it's just gonna be your furniture out here on this guy. Now we're five stories up right now. It's pretty quiet. There's like zero noise from this neighborhood. There's a little outlet so you could plug something in and you can see what these guys are doing on their roof. Oh, there's a lot of people over there. I wonder when they're gonna finish. Big closet in here. This is the other room with the balcony. And I think that even though it's a little bit smaller, just because it has the built-in closet, maybe it's better. It's also eight feet wide, but the length is 10 feet if you don't go into the closet and measure from there. Balcony itself, we glanced at this earlier. There is a table out here which bumps the door, so I'd probably move that. There's the other bedroom. But the overall size here, it's about the same. And actually we're facing west. So the sunset will hit you here just a half a second before it does over there. Hmm, but how would you set this up? We've got that big closet over by the door and that probably means you gotta push everything this way. But there's enough room for it. You could totally get your bed in the corner and then maybe you could get something against the wall. The third bedroom doesn't have any of those problems though because there is no outdoor space. All we've got here is the window. Again, nothing wrong with that, especially for the per person cost of this place. Luckily, it's also got the nice big closet. I think this might actually be more functional. There's not like a door there that you have to worry about blocking. So you can put your bed like flush there and then put stuff on either wall. And that's the thing with outdoor space in New York. You can only use it for part of the year, but your landlord collects the higher rent for it all year. Look at that closet, man. That's absolutely fantastic. Look at how high up the ceilings are in this half bath. It's like over 10 feet, crazy considering it's so narrow. It has this thing. Um, I don't know what that does because there's no shower in here. There is a fan. And look at this awesome tile they got here. That really just gives this some character that it wouldn't have had otherwise. I like the storage beneath the sink. It's all usable. Look at that. You could actually like keep stuff in here. The sink itself is pretty good. And since it's a half bath, this will be perfect for like guests. The full bath that you and whoever you live here with, this one's actually really nice. I like how they got the same sink deal over here. 
that same really cool tile and that light. No medicine cabinet though, where will you put your medicine? It's a solid question. The tub is nice too, you could actually take a bath in this thing. I've seen some baths where you get in and you can't even turn around. And the water pressure. Oh, that's solid. That's really good. That's actually better than my apartment. And the rent here is cheaper than my apartment and it doesn't have a light behind the door. This is probably the most affordable thing you can rent anywhere in the city right now. And it's actually better put together than I was expecting it to be. So if you want to live here, check out the video description, then pick another apartment tour. I'll see you soon.